Okay, how much for the dog? What dog? The dog out by the sheds. Uh, oh. That dog will eat you up. <laughs> Sounds sir. I doubt it. Uh, yeah, stay away. No, it will. Yeah. Thrifting ain't easy. I'm feeling creepy. Comping diapers on my eBay app. Morning. Hello. Morning, how are you? Morning. Oh, you can see these better on this side. Oh, okay. Them are all handmade. Oh, cool. They got furniture inside of them. They're kind of like a birdhouse for the inside. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Yes, my husband has spent many hours on them. <laughs> Our brother passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you, are you from here? Um, I live down by the movie theater. Do you know Lurchy? Uh, who's that? Lurch? No, I don't think so. Wow. There's stuff in every room, honey. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Behind every, every room. room. Gotcha. Anything on the walls are for sale too. Oh, okay, cool. I think that's a, um, a, uh, oh, no, that ain't. It came up in here. Radar detector. Yeah. Yeah.
Okay, cool. I found a few things in here. I'll... You know anything about the army or anything? Or anything like that? Like, what they do in the army? Well, I don't know if it's an army or a different branch. This, this, um... Oh, wow. I'm thinking it's Do you army. know anything about it? I don't. I think it's cool oh, to look at. One of them, uh, GoPros, or... Oh, yeah, just got my backpack. It's neat though, how much are you asking for that? Five bucks for all of it, and that back there is a pea coat. Okay. Yeah, I'll take this. I just, I don't know what branch it is. That's mm. what I was trying to figure out. I like to buy now and research later. That's kind of what I do. The buttons on it. Yeah. Um, I really can't tell. I like it though. I'll take it. All right. Feel <laughs> how heavy this is. Yeah, I could tell that was. <laughs> That's nice though. And this has the paint strip too. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't even notice it's that. It's the whole. Yeah, it's kind it's of. It's old. Now there's a digital camera right there. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. Box, but I don't know nothing about Yeah, yeah. I was going to grab that, too. Yeah, I'm not going to make her. Nah. I'm not going to make her. Over here. Yeah, I can take that. Oh, sure. Thank you. Want to take them? Sure. Yeah, I was going to grab that actually. I saw it over there. It was um, $55. Mm -hmm. We got it for five. Pretty. It is. Yeah. How much are you asking on that? Five. Five bucks, yeah. You can put it in my pile. Is there a guitar in here? Pardon? No. No, just in case. Okay. Um, yeah, there's nothing in that, but the hinges need to be redone. Oh, uh, okay. That. No guitar. And then there's two more rooms. Okay. Okay, how much the dog? What dog? The dog out by the sheds. Uh, that dog will eat you up. See, I'm sorry. I doubt it. Uh, yes, stay away. No, it will. Yeah. It, I'm used to it, and it's kind of actually really got me in my face. Yeah, you didn't do it. Well, you didn't get rid of that bowl. <laughs> you have to look at the bowl. The bowl you're going through. <laughs> I'm going to put the bowl. Five bucks, you can have it all. Got lunches in it. Is yeah, that's what, that's what mom I don't know where my stuff up. was. No, right here. Oh, okay. Cool. Throw it on the lap. Or... Oh, sure. Oh, There's that part. Yeah, that's these three right there. Thank you. If you need any of these utensils, it's a dollar handful. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. cheese for some reason. I said I like that cheese for some reason.
Do you want to sell just this whole thing like this? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if my dad was looking at that Were you planning on buying this bucket? Uh -huh. Man, he's got it in his hand. Yeah, but I'll wander down there. Hey, honey. Hey. I was looking at that yesterday, but my mom wouldn't even buy it. What? The uh, camo. I think I'm going to grab this bread thing and I should be done after that. I want those. Here. Okay. Yeah, I have a price on it. Two bucks. I don't know. And then this. Huh? Sub it. How much that metal trap? All of the Avon. Um, I just want the car. Two bucks. Say it. Two bucks. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine for everything. Yep. Deal. Oh, you can keep it. Don't worry about it. You sure? Yeah, yeah, we're good. You guys were nice. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm gonna take a couple things and I'll, and oh, I'll be yeah. right back. Pretty cool to find some Cutco knives. Okay, get this stuff loaded up. Let's see what we got. All right, guys, we are back. That was hidden. That was that sale was off the beaten path. Um, like I said, that was day four, and I still found some pretty great stuff that I'm pretty excited about. It was the kind of sale where you could probably just go in and say, uh, "Would you take 500 bucks for everything?" And they would probably jump on it. I wasn't really into doing that because, you know, just kind of a one-man show here. I don't really have the time or the capacity to go through all the unwanted stuff and storing it and trying to liquidate it. I would rather enjoy what I do and and uh, move on to the next hunt after our, after I get some stuff processed and all that. That's just how I do things. But I think we spent like right at 30 bucks and found some pretty incredible stuff. So real quick, let's take a look at what I've bought to resell. First of all, the not so great stuff. Didn't get one of these little wonder Bibles. These do okay when they're in the box. This one wasn't in the box, but whatever. We got this little camo Marksman Pro here. A lot of this stuff wasn't priced, so I don't really know what they charged me for it, but I mean, 30 bucks all in, so couldn't be much. I grabbed this whole box of stuff here mainly because I saw an old John Deere watch and I saw this cool old belt buckle. It just it just made me not want to dig through it and just like buy the whole thing. Not a lot of other great stuff in here. There's a magnifying glass and a couple other cheap watches and, and uh, pocket watches that are broken and stuff like that. But grab this can of 16 millimeter film. It's by the Eastman Corporation and it has a title on it. It is Winter Wonderland, number 126. No clue what I'll do with that, but it's got a really cool look to it and I just thought it was kind of neat. A couple little tchotchkes like this cuckoo clock pencil sharpener. I think as you're sharpening your pencil, the little bird comes out up there. There's an old Buddy L, rusty school bus. Kind of smashed up and rusty, but people still love to restore these things. And it's made by Buddy L. Looks like 1980, so not super old, but that'll look good on the antique booth shelf, I think. There's a little cast iron buggy. Just thought it had a really cool look to it. Again, just another little antique booth tchotchke. And then there's another car right there. I, I don't really know what that is. I thought maybe it was a bank, but the thing's on the bottom. So I don't really know what that is. But again, just a really cool look to it. Cutco knives for $1. Granted, not the best Cutco knives in the world, but tell me you wouldn't spend a dollar on any sort of Cutco knife that you come across. These have the old hangers on them. I believe these are made of Bakelite. I'm not sure. They're, uh, it says Cutco number 41, made in USA. And that one says Cutco, made in USA, 40. But they have like the uh, serving forks and stuff. Those aren't those aren't generally worth a lot. These are okay over here. We'll definitely make several, several, several times our money on those. And this is probably the best knife. Unfortunately, it's broken. But hey, it's Cutco, so who cares? One dollar for all these Cutco knives. Pretty crazy, in my opinion. On day four, a lot of glassware there. A lot of glassware. I'm sure I missed. I'm just not into glassware. I probably never will be. I leave it for other people. I'm not I'm not greedy. If something catches my eye like these couple things did, then I'll grab them, but but that's pretty much the extent of it. This I thought was just a really cool picture. On the bottom it says Garland Ceramics 1955. Just thought it had a really awesome look to it. Very detailed, kind of like an old wood stump or something. I just really liked it. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Again, just really caught my eye. To me, it looks like an old ashtray or something with these with these indents up here. I doubt that's what it is, but 
I mean, that's just that's just really cool, I think. Okay, here's where some old habits started coming back to me. I don't buy a lot of vintage electronics anymore, or electronics in general. I used to pretty much only buy vintage electronics. Nowadays, it's just not necessarily my thing. However, this old 8-track player for $1 to 8-track solid state player just really caught my eye and and I come across 8-tracks all the time so I'll be able to test it and I just think it was worth a dollar this one however is a Mercedes-Benz CD changer it was only three dollars so I just kind of grabbed it and it turns out that it is probably worth pretty good money like up to 100 bucks the problem with stuff like this is it tends to sit around my house forever because because I, I don't know how to test it I don't want to leave money on the table and just sell it for parts which is what I normally end up doing and I just kind of stopped buying this kind of thing because it stacks up. So that old habit definitely died hard. I'll probably just sell it for parts just to get it out of here because I have no way to test it. Then we have some old military clothing. It was, it was five bucks for all this. I don't know what the proper thing to do with something like this is. I've never bought it. If it's, if it's disrespectful to buy and sell it, please let me know just because I don't know. And I don't mean any disrespect if that's the case. However, I believe these are from the Air Force. This is an old pea coat. Very heavy, very, very cool looking. And then I believe these are the these are the Air Force dress blues with the stripes and the patches and everything. I just thought it was cool and it was just and it was five bucks and she didn't know what it was and I just felt like if nothing else I would try to rescue it. So that's what I did there. Moving over here, this could be a bolo for you. You know, just in case you don't know, these old roll down bread boxes, especially the ones with the big bread spell out on the front. This one's made by knock on wood corp out of california but these have a pretty good following and even if you want to sell them on ebay i mean you can get a hundred or more dollars for them i'd say between between 50 and 125 dollars i don't necessarily like to ship this sort of thing but this will be great in the antique booth i would probably put a booth price tag on this of around maybe 40 to 50 bucks and then we'll see what happens and it was only two dollars and then the stuff i almost left behind were these old brass pieces right here but here's a brass dog and here's a brass mouse those those don't really have a lot of value to them but they're just cool little ornaments this is what you need to look out for this old brass swiss cheese i believe these are from the 70s and they are like desk pencil and pen holders uh kind of that mcm look they don't pop up a lot and they have a pretty good following super heavy but just this little chunk of cheese right here can sell for between like 50 and almost 100 dollars. it's pretty crazy this one was marked at three bucks and i was happy to pay it so if you ever come across them out in the wild, out at those vintage sales, definitely pick up this uh, Swiss cheese because it'll bring the cheddar. <laughs> all right, guys. So that's everything I got from that sale. Like I said, 30 bucks all in, and I'm super pleased with what I walked away with. That's all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching, and they all look at me, I guess they'll know I'm buying this crap